welcome to your basic JavaScript course for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Notepad++. First, go to your preferred browser and go to the search engine. For me, I'll be using Google Chrome and the Google search engine. Once going to the search engine, type in Notepad++ and press enter. What should appear is the notepad++.org website with the download. You will then click on this link and be taken directly to the page. Once there you are to choose your preferred download option. You can download the installer like I recommend or you can download package folders which require extractions. As for what version you should download, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit, that requires checking your computer. To check your computer, you go to your start menu and right click on your computer and click properties. Once doing that you should be presented with the following box. This should tell you what your computer specs are. If you go to system type you'll notice I am using the 64-bit operating system. So when I download my notepad I should download the 64-bit one instead of the 32-bit. I'll go straight here and click on the installer and it should finish downloading soon. Once you have downloaded you should be presented with this file the npp installer 64 or 32.exe Double click on this installer you'll then be asked to enter in your language I'll be using English I'll click OK then the installation truly begins you then click next I agree to the terms and conditions that Notepad++ is requiring of me. Then here you could set the destination for your Notepad++. I'll set mine here at Programs Notepad++. Next. Take note of the boxes that I have checked here. Then click Next. These two options I don't recommend checking. However, if you want a shortcut on a desktop like I do, then I recommend checking this box here and then pressing install. The installation should be very quick. Once then you can click run notepad or just finish the installation. Since I'll be showing you how to create HTML and JavaScript files in the next video, I won't be running notepad just yet and conclude this lesson. That concludes this lesson. In the next video, we'll learn how to create HTML files and JavaScript files.